Hello guys, in this video we will see how to download and install MariaDB on Windows 11 operating system. Open any browser then go to MariaDB official website that is MariaDB.org. See here the latest releases, these are the releases. Click on download. See here, the stable version is 11.2.2. But release candidate is 11.3. So I am going to install MariaDB server version 11.2.2. Then select the operating system. By default, it has selected the current operating system and architecture. By the, we have only one option that is x64. Then here package type we have MSA package, zip file. Okay. Then keep MSA package as it is and click on download. See, download has been started. Go to downloads. See here, its a size is 72 megabytes. Wait until download completes. See, download has been completed successfully. Click on this MSI file. Click on next. See, this is the welcome wizard to install the, to install or set up the MariaDB 11 or Windows operating systems. Click on next. Check this checkbox to accept the license agreement. Then click on next. See, it is going to install all the components. Suppose if you don't want to install these components, you have to check this one. So, then it won't be installed. So, I am going to keep all the options and this is the location i am going to install all the options like database instance client programs backup utilities development components and third party tools okay so and this will be the installation location if you want to change you have to click on this browse then we have to provide the location i am not going to change anything so cancel this one click on next you want to see the disk usage see it requires only this much space okay click on okay click on next here we have to provide the password for the mariadb root user see i am giving password for root user again confirm the same if you want to enable access from report machines for root user you have to check this checkbox data direct all databases or tables or any objects or information will be stored in this data directory you want to change again you have to click on this browser you have to select the path click on next and this is the tcp port for mariadb in odb engine settings this is the buffer size buffer full size and this is the page size if you want to change you have to select this drop down and you have to change i'm going with defaults ones then click on next it is saying port this is already in use because I have already installed MySQL. If you want to install MySQL, then keep as it is. Otherwise, give the other port. In your case, keep 3306 as it is. Then click on next. Click on install. See, installation has been completed successfully. Click on finish. Now go to services, windows run, then services.msc. There you will find the MariaDB service. Click on M. So, yeah. See here, there is a service with MariaDB. Its a status is running. See, its a status is running. And the startup type is automatic. If you want to stop this service, you have to click on the stop button. If you want to restart, select the service here and click on this restart service button or this hyperlink or right click and if you want to stop, you have to select stop or if you want to restart, you have to click on restart. Okay. Now we will see how to connect to MariaDB. Then click on start, call apps. Click on this MariaDB. Folder, click on this 
Heidi SQL or MySQL client for MariaDB. Both are same. Click on Heidi SQL. Click on New. Then provide the password for the root user which we have given. But port number is 3306 in your case, but mine is 3307 because it is already in use. Click on Open. Click on Save. See, I have connected to MariaDB. If you want to create database, right click here and select create new and then select database. I am giving R2 scores. This is the collation setting. Click on OK. See, new database has been created. Suppose if you want create table, you have to select here, right click and click on select, then select the table. Then you have to provide the columns information. Suppose if you want to create a table in this database, right click and select table. Otherwise, select the database from the left list. Then see here, we have the database selected. If you want to MySQL, see database name has been changed. Click on this one. Click on query. Then click on, then type the create. Then write the create statement. Create table student. S number int S name where care. Select this statement and click on this execute button. See table is created. Go to expand this one. Right click and refresh. Expand this one. See, we have one table. We can also verify by commenting this one. Select star from student. Select it and run this execute button. See, there is no output because we haven't inserted any data. So, like this, we can create other way to connect to the MariaDB is start, then MySQL, see here, MySQL client for MariaDB, click on it, enter the password for the root user, see we have connected, now run the command show databases, see we have created new database, create another database and verify, create database, Test one. See, we have created one database. So, databases. See, new database had it here, but it is not showing. Right click and click on refresh button. See, new database has been added. So, in this video, we have seen how to download and install MariaDB latest version that is MariaDB 11 on Windows 11 operating system. The process is same for all Windows operating systems. For more videos, please subscribe my channel. Thank you.